playing the hand you're dealt like it's the one you wanted. The reality is life is going to deal you a hand. And sometimes we don't control what that hand looks like. I think through the process of self-awareness, we understand what type of hand that we were dealt initially and what type of hand that we're holding at all times. But it doesn't stop there. It doesn't just stop with the process of figuring out what type of hand you were dealt. The transformation and the progression of your life will ultimately be determined by what you do with those cards that you've been dealt. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Sales Wolves podcast. As always, I am your host, Tyler Harris, and I am a sales wolf. Ah, Man, sometimes I think these howls are getting better. Sometimes I think they're getting worse. We'll just go with that. This is episode 132 of the Sales Wolves podcast. So glad for you to be joining me, either on the audio or video on iTunes, Spotify, IGTV, YouTube, Facebook, anywhere on the internets, as they say. Uh, But this is going to be a short podcast and one that I think is going to be extremely valuable uh, to some of you out there that may be stuck in this exact same mindset as someone was obviously stuck in uh, when they decided to comment on my post last night. And so what I want to do is just um, give you a little bit of context, talk about this post I did yesterday and and the comments that came in below it and really discuss the mindset ultimately with which uh, I think we need to all be constantly pursuing or constantly fleeing from. And so this post that I did, it had a graphic that said, don't wish for it, work for it. And my caption was stop wishing for a different life and work the one you've got. And then I said that the key to poker, like poker, like gambling, and in life, so the key to poker and in life is playing the hand you're dealt like it was the hand you wanted, okay? And so someone decided to comment on that, um, which look, we put this stuff out there so that people comment, whether it's good, bad, and different, negative, positive, that's what this is all about, is fostering a conversation. So someone, created a conversation in the comments and they said, yeah, well in poker, you can throw your hand in and get a new one. So we don't necessarily have to deal with the hand we're dealt with. My response, which I think is an extremely important one was not if you go all in. And what did I mean by that? I meant that if you go all in on that hand, you were dealt, then you don't have the option to just, throw your cards in and get a new hand because there's nothing left. You went all in on the one that you had. And her response was really, you know, can't go all in. If your hand doesn't stand a chance, only fools go all in if they don't have a decent hand or maybe they can bluff, but do we really want to live like that? And then she said, some things can't be changed. I commented that, that, may or may not be the worst perspective I've ever heard. Uh, and that please don't share that type of view on life with anyone else. And she responded, you know, I don't believe in going around with my head in the sand. What's dealt to us can't be changed no matter what you do. You can waste your time trying to change it, but in the end, you'll still, you'll still have to deal with the hand you're given. Understand your opinion on trying to better yourself. And that is good. But remember, you're still you, even with all those changes. So what have you accomplished? Why not be you and devote all the work and energy you're doing on yourself to something that would help make this world a better place? And, you know, the, the conversation went on, but, you know, let's just start with that last statement. Why not be you and devote all of the work and energy you're putting towards yourself towards something that could make the world a better place? See, I think the reality is, in order to make the world a better place, you have to devote all of your energy on making you the best version of yourself. Because until you show up in the world as the best version of yourself, 
you don't have a chance in making a difference and making a change and and making an impact on the world. And so let's talk about that quote. And I can't remember where that quote came from initially. So I misquote and refuse to, um, give people credit for quotes that I just can't remember. And, you know, it's kind of like that thing is, you know, I heard a guy once say, and, you know, um, I, I always said, or it kind of is that progression to where it just becomes your, your own quote, but playing the hand you're dealt, like it's the one you wanted. The reality is life is going to deal you a hand. And sometimes we don't control what that hand looks like. When we look at those cards, we could have, you know, a a perfect straight, a perfect, you know, flush. We could have, you know, two pair, or we could have nothing. We could have a garbage hand that was just dealt to us. And that's just the facts of life. That's just a reality that we all need to come to terms with. I think through the process of self-awareness, we understand what type of hand that we were dealt initially and what type of hand that we're holding at all times, but it doesn't stop there. It doesn't just stop with the process of figuring out what type of hand you were dealt. The transformation and the progression of your life will ultimately be determined by what you do with those cards that you've been dealt. Your impact on this world will ultimately stem from how you operate within that hand that was ultimately given to you. And so I think, you know, my, my immediate, you know, pretty aggressive response to that comment was because it's what I feel is the mindset of so many people out there. When she said, well, you know, you can always just throw your hand, you know, throw the hand in and get a new hand. So, you know, this, this doesn't really make sense. I feel like so many people are walking through life, coasting through life as if they've got unlimited hands to play, as if they've got unlimited chances to do this thing called life over. And they don't realize that we only get one shot. We only get one chance at life. And it's about how we are able to become a better version of ourselves. How are we able to, you know, increase our skill set and our abilities and learn new things so that that hand that we are dealt starts to look better and better and better. And, you know, for me, I feel like I, you know, was, was dealt a pretty good hand uh, in life. Uh, growing up and as a child and, you know, the, the dynamics of my family. And I could easily say that that was lucky and that that means that I should have, you know, some level of confidence that would lead to some level of success because of that hand I was dealt. But the interesting thing is I know people that were dealt incredibly fortunate hands and squandered it and didn't live lives of, you know, success, didn't live lives of purpose and passion and ultimately make an impact. But the opposite is also true, you know, through my podcasts and through the conversations that I have with people all over the world, I've seen people that were dealt devastating hands that were dealt a hand that I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy. But through the course of becoming better and learning and working and working and working, went on to do unbelievable things. And to me, those are the stories that I look for. Those are the stories that we all love. Uh, It's the underdog story. You know, the guy or girl that grew up in a, a, a terrible home that, you know, went through, you know, unbelievable, tragic events and struggles and obstacles, but still was able to rise above and ultimately make a huge impact on the world. And when they get there, they realize how grateful they were for having been dealt that bad hand. And they realized that they probably wouldn't have got to where they were if not for that friction in the beginning, if not for those obstacles and those struggles, 
you know, creating that version of themselves that was someone with resilience and someone with tenacity and someone with the perseverance to push through all of the bad to get to the good. And so my question for you guys today on this podcast is, you know, look deep down inside and think about, you know, what kind of hammer you dealt. Think back to your childhood. Think back to growing up. Think back to high school. Think back to college if you went to college. Think back to you know, those early formative years. And you know, what kind of hand were you dealt? Was it a good hand? Was it a great hand? Or was it not so great? Or was it possibly a terrible hand? And then from there, the question is, well, what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? Because in life, we're not given another hand. It's all about what we do with the hand that we have. And so if that's true, if we can't just you know, say, hey, I want to hit the reset button and try this thing all over again. And if it's true that the hand that we have is the only hand that we're going to be given, then we have to play that hand like it is the hand that we always wanted. Like it was the most optimal hand that we could have ever been given because until we get that mindset of going all in on that hand that we've been given, we're, we're just, we're letting life happen to us rather than us using the life that we've been given. And I think it was such a sad, yeah, really, that's the only word I can think about. It was just such a sad perspective to see someone combat that type of thought with, yeah, well, you can get better and you can do these things, but it's still the life that you've got. I'm like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's true. But what's the alternative? Just accepting your fate? Uh, accepting that this is just my lot in life um, to, you know, to, to deal with what was given to me because we're all given a set of circumstances. We're all given certain skills, talents, abilities. We're also given certain um, things that we're going to have to overcome. And I think it's through overcoming those things and it's through taking ownership of the hand that we're dealt and saying, hey, this is my situation, but here's what I'm going to do about it. It is in that process that we ultimately determine who we really are. And so in that, it is not who we are that's given to us in that hand we're dealt. Who we are is determined by what we do with that hand that we're dealt, right? But the only way that we can go all in on that hand is if we look at that hand as, as, as a gift, I was given this hand and it is a gift given to me so that I can show what I can do with it. And you know what happens when you, when you do play that hand, like it's the one you wanted, when you do go all in, when you do you know, work and work and work to become the best versions of yourself, you know what you do when that happens? You give hope to the next person that's dealt a bad hand. You give hope to the person that's listening to this podcast right now that's thinking to themselves, man, I, I never really thought about it. I was dealt a pretty tough hand. You give hope to that person that what was given to you is not what you have to end up with, that what was given to you does not determine who you will be, and that life will become this series, this progression of what you can do with what was given to you. And I, as I'm saying this, I, that like, that makes sense that that's, that is life. It's taking what you have and finding out what you can do with it and finding out how far it can take you. The same hand given to me, given to another person, are going to go in two completely separate directions. They're going to go 
to completely different levels, all based on my willingness, that person's willingness to put in the work, my willingness, that person's willingness to see through the initial uh, realization of, of whether something is good and bad and see past and see through that to what's possible. And I think if we just look at the hand that we're dealt as something that we're going to have to live with and deal with, then, then that's where, you know, all hope is lost. That's when this feeling of what's the point, this is just my reality. And I understand that, you know, someone could be listening to this. This could be you right now. That's, that's looking at the hand that you've been dealt and thinking there's, I, I don't stand a chance, but what I've found is that those thoughts typically only creep in when you're comparing your hand to someone else's. And if we play that, you know, poker analogy out a little further, that's kind of why that whole game works, right? Is because you don't know the hand that's next to you. You don't know what the person across the table's hand is. So it gives you the ability to go all in on the one that you have, because you're not comparing it to the ones around you. You just know that if you go all in and you do everything you can with the one you've got, then good things are going to happen. But guess what? Bad things also happen too. But the only way I know that I could live with the bad things that happen is knowing that I put the effort towards what I had, that I put everything, I put everything I could into the hand that I was dealt so that even if things turn out bad, I know I did all I could do. And I think that's the lesson. Like the lesson is whatever life has dealt you, being in this constant pursuit, this constant, you know, progression and work towards making that hand the most ideal scenario based on what you're willing to put in, because it's a, it's a simple equation work in results out work in results out. The hand is almost irrelevant at that point. The hand is just, it's just the reality. The work in is the catalyst and the results out are completely determined by what goes in. And yeah, you know, I'm, I'm often thought of you know, people that I've interviewed on podcasts, like a guy, Chris Cavallini, um, had him on the sales wolves podcast early on. And the guy was born to a mother that was a prostitute drug addict living on the streets there's not a person listening to this podcast that would say that he was dealt a great hand. You know, when you, when you are born into that world, it's, it's difficult not to say that he was at a disadvantage, but guess what? It was the hand he was dealt, but it is in what he did with that hand. He was dealt that makes his story so incredible. You know, the guy's running a multi-million dollar business now. He was arrested 18 times before his 18th birthday. I remember him saying that on the podcast. I mean, that's a pretty bad hand. And obviously he was doing with that hand some not so great things early on in his life. And, and that's the point that no matter where you are in life, no matter what you've done with the hand you're dealt up until this point, that you can decide to make a change and to do more with what you've been given, to do good with what you've been given. And I've seen this guy go on and build this, this incredible business and the culture that he's created around the people uh, that work for him and the culture that he's created around the people that are associated with his business and his brand and his social media following and the personal brand that he's built and the people that he's helping. It's incredible. And I would beg to say that it's, even more incredible 
because of where it started. That his story is more impactful because of how difficult it was in the beginning. That his story creates an impact because he was dealt a bad hand. And I gotta be honest, in a weird way, I'm kind of envious of those that were dealt a bad hand. It's easy to say on this side of the story, right? It's easy to say at this point in my life that I wish I was dealt a worse hand. Like that sounds crazy. But the story that I would have to tell if I was able to overcome and if I was able to persevere through it would be incredible. And so, you know, for those of you that are listening, for those of you that are watching this podcast, I challenge you again to really evaluate what kind of ham were you dealt? And then take that next step of what have you done with that hand? The first step is, is realizing and become a, becoming aware of it. The next step is what can you do moving forward? And whether you've spent 20, 30 years just coasting or creating worse and worse and worse scenarios with the hand you're dealt, it can all change today. It can all change in this moment in the way that you look at your life and the way that you look at the things that were given to you, look at the things that have happened to you or for you and say that I, I don't care what was given to me. I'm going to use what was given to me to the best of my ability to be able to make an impact on this world. And that's, you know, what, what we all want, right? We all want to make an impact. And the reality is we can only make that impact with what we've been given. And I would dare say, I would dare say that succeeding, winning, making an impact when given a bad hand is the greatest, greatest example, greatest story, greatest illustration of what life is all about. And so I hope this is encouraging to someone. I hope this is maybe a slap in the face uh, to someone that has been maybe not, let's see, a slap in the face to someone who has been squandering the hand that they've been dealt, but an encouragement and hopefully a push to make the absolute most out of what you've been given and a reminder that we only have one life that we're only dealt one hand and that your life and your impact will ultimately be determined by what you do with that hand that you were dealt. I don't play a lot of poker. <laughs> Couldn't even tell you the last time I played, but I am addicted to becoming the best version of myself, which is progress. I'm addicted to progress. And it is what I desire for each and every one of you to be able to take what you've been given, to go all in and to see that progress take place and ultimately make a huge impact on this world. So with that, this is episode 132 of the sales Wolves podcast. As always, I'm your host, Tyler Harris, and I am a sales wolf. Ah, ooh.